Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Jank Tank. So today we are going to be trying out cold drink combo for Pioneer. The course, the concept here is incubation druid mixed with um, sleep curse fairy or um, glimmer bell as the combo pieces to get infinite mana with a soul cauldron. Now we have some self mill. We have finale of devastation as a way to use all that mana. Or, of course, we could pump it on to Alara Hydra and win that way. But outside of that, we have a lot of self mill, trying to find our one of pieces that we kind of want. Uh, we also have a couple copies of Patchwork Crawler, just because I wanted to just play it. Why not, right? Because we're already, you know, trying to self mill and it can get the activated abilities. Um, so it can combo off. So that is a possibility. That is the deck we're trying out today. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you like. Sorry if my voice sounds a little off. I've just finished on the edge of probably having a cold. So let's get into the deck list and get it, see the deck in action. So I only want three finales. I think that's the correct number. Uh, having four, you kind of uh, draw multiple. Uh, you don't really want that. You want to see one that you draw per game. And I think that's the right number. Otherwise, you're just kind of not self-milling yourself, which is kind of really important to this strategy, right? So... We have a four uh, um, Agatha Soul Cauldron. You could down uh, down ticket to three if you really want to lower the the cost of this jank deck. This jank deck is about five hundred bucks, which is kind of expensive. But you know we have uh, some sweet cards here and uh, twenty lands overall. Consider Gaze Grapple to help fill our yard. Uh, Secret Keeper because it is a self mill spell and it's a, a you know O four body that you can put the counters on and have it you know start. <laughs> making infinite mana. So it's kind of important. We have a Necro Amoebas as kind of a free one, uh, just some free creature we can get potentially onto the board to start comboing off. And we don't really care what the piece is that's comboing, right? As long as we have a creature to do it. Otherwise, sideboard, we have two Ether Gusts. We can bring in against Mono Green, Damping Sphere for Lotus Field, um, Reckoner Bank Buster for the grindy matchups like Midrange, Control. Scavenging Ooze is our Graveyard Hate. Um, just due to the fact that <clears throat> under a cauldron, all of our stuff has the activated ability. It's kind of powerful. To unravel uh, the ether, to shuffle away like Ley Lane Binding, um, stuff like that. Uh, uh, Ley Lane of the Void, not Ley Lane Binding, sorry. Uh, and then we have three mystical disputes for the control matchup to counter their counter spells, um, get our stuff onto the board. That is our Simic Soul Cauldron combo deck for Pioneer. Let's see if we can't compete with Simic. I mean, that's that's a thing, right? Let's see it in action. Prime passes another land. Sanctum go. Jetmir's Garden passes. Consider graveyard. Ooh, play a lair. Sleep curse fairy go. And Gotha Triumph passes. Coast try to untap. No, I think I'm just gonna pass. Blood Sun? Okay, that turns off my lair. It's probably used for Lotus Field. Yep. Passes. Gaze. Binding. Sure. Uh, graveyard. Graveyard. I don't think I need that either. I draw another land. Breeding Pool. Tap. Okay, never mind. It doesn't completely tapped anymore. Uh, we will mill ourselves. Cast Secret Keeper. Go. Typhoon. Hollow Fountain. Passes. We gaze. Graveyard everything. Oh my gosh, Narcomiba. Play the coast. Past. Valakut Awakening. Makes a 3-3. Three, three. There's another Lotus Field. Teferi. Okay, that goes on the stack. We need to do Gaze now. Graveyard to all of that. And Gaze again. I can't really draw that right. So I think I put it on top, but I use my other Gaze before I draw. Okay. Uh, So that's 9 that's not exactly lethal. Swings out. Take it. Cycles, cycles, cycles. Triumph. Plays a Jetmere's Garden. And untaps two Lotus Fields. Scoop it up. So we definitely want, I think, Bank and Ether. What can we go down? Probably a couple Grapple and a couple Secret Keepers. I don't like that. Vine Stock. Go. Triumph. Passes. Lair. Incubation Druid. Go. Steam Vents. Passes. Rivulet. Fairy, mill myself, gaze, cycles a shark, put the lands in the yard, and then I guess draw a bank buster. Plays a triumph tapped, passes. So we play 
Banky and draw, play a tap land, pass. Blood Sun, and I'm assuming Lotus Field's coming after. If anything else. So we definitely pay into the Banky. Grapple. We get rid of the Cauldron? Come on. Uh, I guess take Breeding Pool. Play the Breeding Pool. Untap the Cursed. Pass. Okay, that didn't work. I thought one counter he would have untapped. All right, another Lotus Field. Dark Typhoon. Passes. Draw a card. That's not helpful. I guess cast Seeker Keeper. Narco Amoeba. And I guess attack. So you can make... So you can make a... a yeah, gets rid of that. Then kills that. Which is kind of what we want, actually. Now, we just need to figure out how we're going to get this back. Cycles of Triome. Because this can find Patchwork. And then we can eat the Sleep Curse. And then he might have another Binding. As an island. Did he attack? He does. I don't really need the Nargamiba. Passes. Ironically, I think I should be able to cast this. Crew it. Go to combat. Attack. See if you have another Binding. Nope. Takes it. Pass the turn. Another Blood Sun to redraw. Make a 3-3. Garden. If I draw a Cauldron, I think I could win. If, of course, he has no answers. Binding. What do you eat here? I'm guessing it's Sarok, which would be, I guess, the worst case. So now my uh, guy doesn't have haste. All right, he just ends his... Oh, that's my turn. Okay, I'm off. 0-1, oh, getting to the next. Lion stock, go. Fountain, tap, passes. Sanctum, bleep, curse fairy, pass. Coast, shackles, passes. Gaze, graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Riverlet, consider, top. Agatha Soul Cauldron, eat the incubation druid. Pass. Island, curious obsession, hits me, passes. Remove the last counter. I think that's all I could do. Pass. Waste. Goes to combat. Hits me. Take it. Draws a card. We draw a consider. Consider. Graveyard. I guess play an island. Green. Untap. Blue. Untap. Guess green. Untap. Blue. Untap. Turn on the vine stock. Go to combat. Attack. Attack. Smack you. Down to 11. Pass, I guess. Spell Queller. Sure. Phantom. Goes to combat. Hits me for seven. Okay. Take it. Draws another card. Another Curious Obsession. Passes. Another Cauldron. I think I have to gaze. Snares. And then pay for it. Graveyard. Graveyard. How do we draw this? We, we won't have another turn. So I guess my bet is I have to swing with the Vine Stock. And just leave back the fairy. Go to combat. Attack. I guess shrink that slightly. I guess it doesn't make a difference. You know, you're going to take one or you're going to take... F takes it. We pass. Goes to combat. Attacks out. So we have to block the spell queller. We go to one. He draws two. It's pathway on blue. Passes. We try to grapple. Uh, We have one life, so we guess we take a... Uh, island? I guess I, I already got... I didn't milled over two finales. That's fine. Alright, so we go ahead and eat Spell Queller. Put a counter on our fairy. And nothing to flash back. So we go for the untap. Another land. So that means we have to mill ourselves. Get in, I guess, Narco Amoeba. Is it worth it, actually? Riverlet. We have a Seeker Keeper in the yard. So I guess we do get that back. So, first things first... Untap. Shoot. That was that was a mistake. I don't know if we could win or not, but we're going to try. Turn on that. We eat. Seeker Keeper. I guess I could have eaten this, the Cursed. Put the counter on the... F I guess I could have done it on the Vine Stock for Trample. Go to Combat. Sailor. Rattles. Attack. Attack, attack, right? You just... I have to attack with both. So he takes three... Taps the Narc Amoeba, which I guess that actually would have sealed it, sealed it anyway. So, yep. So against Blue, we bring in Mystic. Mystical Dispute. Maybe Unravel. I'm assuming Graveyard Hate I mean, is coming in, um, potentially. Now, our pieces that are kind of cuttable are Grapple, Seeker Keepers. So those are, like, like, are pretty reasonable to cut. Outside of that, we could probably trim a Narc Amoeba. Not like that. Riverlet. Fairy, go. Coast, wander, passes. Botanical Sanctum. I think I just go for the untap. Waste, goes to combat, attacks. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to grapple or if I want to... I think I, I think I grapple. That seems like the right move. Sacks to wander. Okay, that's good. For, that's fine with me. Play a vine stock. Pass. Rattle chains. Island. Attacks. Take it. Gaze. Narc amoeba to the graveyard. Seeker keeper to the graveyard. Graveyard. Get back a narc amoeba. Consider. Graveyard. I think I just pass. All right. Plays a lord. Plays a tap land. Attacks with both. See if we can't jabate the lord. All right. That blocks here. That blocks here. And just pray we get through. Another lord. Okay. We untap. So it probably means we could slam this cauldron. Play a breeding pool. Untapped. Gaze. Get rid of the incubation druid, which is our last piece. Now we can eat the incubation druid. And now we should be able to play this uh, Surak. Wait, wait, wait. Undo. Surak. Blue. Untap. Blue. Narc Amoeba. And untap. I have no need for this unravel. So I think I just pass. Plays a coast. Goes to combat. Attacks with the lord. Lord and a rattles. Skyclave appetizers. He's going to target my fairy, which has... All right, scoops it up. I think I cut the crawler and go back up the secret keeper on the draw. Run it like that. Waste. Wanderer. Passes. Play a island. Pass. Waste. Another wanderer. Well, gaze. This will make you decide if you want to sack this or not. Okay. So graveyard. Top. Top. Hits me for two. Take it. He has one land, so I think this is when we try to draw Cauldron. Pass. Plays a Sailor. Grows the team. Slightly. Or temporarily. Plays a Fountain. We got Skyclave. Eat the, salt, the Cauldron. So we play Vine. Play uh, Glimmer Bell. Go. My Sleep Curse Fairy number copies five. <laughs> Passes. That is a good sign. So we play Sleep Cursed. Spell Queller is it? That's fine. By Narc Amoeba. Pass. Curious Obsession. Attacks. 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 Attacks with everything. Block and block. So you don't get to draw cards. Play a Lair. Mill ourselves. Cast. Sneaker Keeper. Go. Plays a Rattles. Goes to combat. Attacks out. That blocks here. That blocks here. We untap. Dispute. Consider. Graveyard. That is not helpful. We draw land. Also not helpful. We just pass. So we're taking three this turn. Draws a card. Draws a land. Portable hole. Yeah, so that way I can't block the Skyclave. Essentially for free. Uh, one, two, four. Goes to combat. I, could, I guess I can trade a lair. Do I do that? If I have one more land, it would be, wouldn't be that bad, right? Because then I would trade. But I think I have to. I got block here. Can't have you drawing any more cards. Cauldron. Play the cauldron. But I don't have the combo piece in my yard. Combo. I mean, uh, counter. Oh, I'm so close. Like, if I had the other combo piece in my grit in my yard, I would probably win this game. But now I'm in that weird spot where I can't do it, right? Because I have the ability to untap this. And I have the payoff. Just don't have the combo piece. Yeah, that was super close. Like, we literally could have won that match. Like, if that one thing changed, right? We would have had it. Because we would be able to keep untapping this, play this finale, get an infinitely sized hasty trampler. Game over. 0-2, let's get into the next. Island. Fleet Curse Fairy. Go. Canal. Passes. Gaze. Consider. Graveyard. Breeding pool. Untapped. Gaze. Uh, I have no need for that. I did make some changes. I cut the patchwork and a couple copies of Narc Amoeba for slide of hands for better setup draws. I don't need that. We'll keep a slide of hand. Pass. Gazes. So we're facing Arclight Phoenix. Hall. Passes. Slide of hand. Take a cauldron. Yavamaya Coast. Pass. Free the Fae. Maybe this is what I should be playing. Is this worth a couple copies? So we have how many? We have just this one fairy. So we just have this as a fairy. With this, is that enough fairies? Instant sorcery or fairy. Plays a pathway on red. Uh, we gaze. Don't need that. That. We'll keep the cauldron in case he counters my first one. Breeding pool untapped. Soul cauldron. Kind of has to counter this, right? Otherwise, we just eat his arc light phoenix. So we definitely eat an arc light and just pass. Actually, let's go ahead and Seeker Keeper, or the v Venture Deep, get back Narc Amoeba, and cast the Merfolk, and pass. Is it Charm? Gets an arc like in the yard. Island. Gazes. Mills a couple cards. Considers. 
So he's definitely going to try to get this Arclight back and kills my Narc Amoeba. Gets back an Arclight. Attacks while well, he can. Sure. Take it. We untap. We go ahead and gaze. Graveyard. 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 We gaze. We did it. We did it. We comboed. Uh, yeah, that's sweet. Eat the druid. And we have the finale in hand. So he's making an infinitely big something. The counter here. Okay. So blue. Untap. Play the sanctum. Tap. Untap. Tap. Untap. And we do this. So I don't have to go extreme with this. I just got to get 12 plus an extra one, two to untap this. Okay. So now I should be able to tap for green. Untap. Get finale. Search library. Take Sirak Gordclaw. Go to combat. And get the beat win with the Sirak. 1918 Sirak. Pop you. For small amounts of damage. Okay. This matchup. We have scavenging ooze. Maybe unravel. Maybe disputes. What is bad in this matchup? Probably down a couple grapples. Couple merfolk. Narc amoebas. Maybe not all the disputes. And the glimmer bell. Run it like that. Canal. Slide a hand. Passes. Sanctum. Curse fairy. Go. Or island. Thing in the ice. Passes. Play the lair. Incubation druid. Pass the turn. Consider. Pathway. Passes. Riverlet. Gaze. Graveyard. 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 Gravel. Take breeding pool. Pass. Breathe the fey. Pathway on red. Impulse. Takes out my druid. Which is kind of what I was hoping. Treasure cruise. Flips. Gets rid of my sleep cursed. Hits me for seven. We take it. Fairy. Druid. Breeding pool tapped. Go. Kills my dude. Hits me for seven. Down to six. Tap Paul. Passes. Oh, wow. I can't do anything, right? Because this... I tapped this twice, and I still... I guess I could layer. X1. So I guess I play Fairy. Tap land. Pass. Gaze. If he has a removal for this layer, then I lose. Goes to combat. Hits me. Okay. And we concede. So I guess dispute in. Grapple seems worse now than Secret, secret Keeper. Maybe one Secret Keeper. Actually, we didn't even see any graveyard hate. So I think it's better to, to do uh, like that. Keep one graveyard hate piece. Run it like that. Okay. Opponent moves to four. So we lead off with a fairy. Pass. They play a steam vents tapped. Passes. Lair. I think I just go for a untap and pass. Canal. Thing in the ice. Passes. Vine stock. Consider. Graveyard. Pass. Is it charm? Okay. See what he does? Gets rid of an arc light phoenix. Plays a canal. Passes. Ooze. Eat the phoenix. Tap land and hit you. Island. Pieces of the puzzle. That's what it looks like. Brother's hood end. Wraps the board. We untap. Consider. So I think I start off with sleight of hand. Take gaze. Play gaze. Graveyard. 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 Breeding pool. Untapped. Gaze. Graveyard. Graveyard. Top. Pass. So he flips it. Take 12. Passes. Play that say cauldron. My best bet I think is to consider a graveyard. Draw a lair. That's not helpful. So if I sleep. I already have one in the yard. I think I do it so I could put it underneath. So that's the advantage of playing it. So then I get to eat sleep curse fairy. But pass. We can untap this thing three times. Okay. Free the fey. Gazes. Hits me for seven. Down to five. Finale. Incubation druid. Eat scavenging ooze. Put another counter. Pass. No removal for the druid. Can't beat that. So 0 and 3. We did win a match with the a game with the combo. Came close to matches. So let's get into the wrap up. So what did we learn this week about this deck? Overall, I thought there was a little bit more work that needed to be done. I did. I kind of want to finish the list off with Picklock Prankster in this deck. So I cut a grapple with the pass for one copy. I cut the last two remaining Narc Amoebas for one cop, two copies. And then I cut one Secret Keeper. Just because you get, do get to maybe potentially get back a Finale of Devastation. Or maybe I just cut a Finale Devastation and then just run a Prankster. So I could mill 
get a, a finale back into my hand because it does let you get instant sorceries um, from among them. So that is kind of interesting. So we'll see how that actually works out and setting this deck up more. But outside of that, I thought the deck felt pretty decent. We did come very close. We're just one piece away from winning one match, right? So, and against, is it Phoenix? Literally the falling turn, we could have potentially comboed off. Regrettably, would we have enough to win the game? I don't know. Actually, we would because, right, we had the layer. We could have made an infinitely sized layer, won the game, and took that match. So we assembled the combo once, which is awesome. We did get close to a combo win till the opponent realized he made a mistake and, and uh, scooped up the game and uh, pushed it to game three against Spirit. So relatively speaking, like every deck we faced, um, for the most part, our meta decks, right? Blue White Spirits, is it Phoenix? So we did face some pretty decent good meta decks and we were able to showcase uh, a little bit of Soul Cauldron. Um, sadly, maybe we need a little bit more activated abilities in this deck just for alternative purposes, um, for an alternative way to win the game. The other, so the other possibility, if we could uh, increase our instances and sorceries, we could technically be th play Thing in the Ice as an alternative way to win the game as well. But if you have any considerations at all, let me know down in the comment section uh, what cards you would have considered for this list. I was excited I was able to cast Finale, get a Surak uh, and Goreclaw, and, and make into Smash Face. That was the best feeling I've had this entire season of Wilds of Eldraine. So if you've missed this, if you don't miss this episode, this episode's pretty awesome. And until next time, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon.